388 CP versus 38 Special. And what we have today is our Spear Gold uh, ammunition, our Spear LE law enforcement ammunition. And I'm going to test this stuff and see what we get for our ballistics gel performance. So our 380 ACP is a 90 grain rated at 1,040 feet per second through a 3.75 inch barrel. This happens to be a 3.68 inch barrel, very close. Our um, Smith & Wesson Shield EZ and 380 ACP. And I'm going to compare that to our 38 Special. It happens to be a plus P125 grain rated at 945 feet per second. I could not find... A barrel length listed for that, but I'm going to test it through my three inch barrel here, our Taurus 856, to see what kind of performance we get. So I'm going to go through the chronograph, see what kind of velocity and accuracy I get at the same time. Then I'm going to do my 10% clear ballistic test. So I'm just going to shoot into plain clear ballistics to see what our best potential is of those cartridges and see what kind of performance we get. And after that, I'm going to do something that's more of a real world simulation where I have four layers of denim on the front of this gel block, three inches of clear ballistics, and then a quarter inch medium density fiberboard to represent hitting ribs or sternum. And that'll be more of our real world simulation to see how this ammunition really performs. And then I'm going to shoot up my steel silhouette and see what kind of practical accuracy we can get. So let's get started with this test. All right, I'm about five yards from the target, four yards from the chronograph. First up, we have our 380 ACP rated at 1,040 feet per second. See how close we get to that in my Shield EZ here. 1,000. No read. 991. 985, 991, 977. So below rate of velocity, you know, the barrel length was a little bit shorter um, than their test barrel, but not by enough to make that much of a difference. So we are just a little bit below rate of velocity. 38 Special, rated at 945 feet per second with no barrel length tested. Let's see what we get in my three inch Taurus here. 972. 992, 1003, 989, 998, let me run one more, 978. So we're above rate of velocity even in a three inch grill, which is interesting. Let's set our ballistics gel block with these and see what we get. All right, let's see what our best potential is of these cartridges. No denim or anything like that. Here's our 380 ACP. Let's try a 38 special. Let's go take a look. All right, so it looks like we got pretty good expansion with both of them from what I can tell. Almost too big of expansion in some regard here because we got kind of shallow penetration. And we definitely got more damage overall with our 38 Special, but with our 380 ACP, we got a penetration of about 11 inches even. We have full expansion, so a little bit below our minimum that the FBI and IWBA want to see for penetration. Doesn't mean it won't work, it just means in, in all situations it won't work, like going through your arm into the thoracic cavity from the side, etc. Now with our 38 Special, we have about 13 and three quarters inches of penetration we have pretty good expansion so that did meet that that minimum there so that doesn't necessarily mean everything because you know in the real world people are generally always wearing clothing they have bone that that really changes what the bullet will do for its expansion which changes its penetration and that matters so let's put in our mdf and our denim and see how they compare that way all right, denim and a quarter inch medium density fiber board. See how our 380 does. All right, let me try the 38 special now. All right, 38 special. Let's see how this compares. Let's go take a look.
All right, so there's some definite differences there. They both had good damage in that in that testing. So in more of our real world testing actually does better, which is kind of surprising. That's the opposite of most ammunition, how it works. So we actually see down here with our 380 that we were getting expansion before we hit that, that MDF. And that's exactly what I'm looking to see for tests like that. That means that's a well-designed bullet. So we're getting expansion before we're limiting our expansion just enough that we can get 13, 13 and a quarter inches of penetration, which is very ideal. With our 38 Special, you know, this right here kind of shows what we're seeing here. Now this did kind of the opposite in, in some regard. We have a little bit of moderate expansion there, but overall what we're looking at is very limited expansion or deformation. I'm not even sure if it's expanded at all. Looks like the bullet is backwards, maybe some nose deformation, expansion, and all of that. Possibly tumbling in here. But what we're looking at is 16 inches of penetration. So I would say judging by the damage and judging by the penetration, when it comes to our MDF shot and our denim and everything, both of these are pretty equal. They're just doing it in a little bit different way because one has a little more expansion. The other one's not so much expanded and possibly tumbled. So... Overall, our 38 Special did good in both our plane test and our denim test, and our 380 did better in our denim test, which is not a bad thing. So let's see what my practical accuracy is with these cartridges and just see how they do for me that way. All right, 25 yards from the target. I always like to start here. This gives me kind of a, an overview of you know what to really expect. This is kind of an average overall distance situation, I would think, would be best for training. That's just my opinion even though closer is more typical. 25, it kind of splits the difference where you don't have to have like this extreme skill of shooting from very far away, but you know, you still can shoot a little bit quicker and all of that, so. Let's see what I can get here with our 38 Special from 25 yards. okay but it is drifting a little bit to the left for me but that is just my gun i've known that situation since i had it i think the bar barrel's canted or something now this one i'm actually really more interested in is a carry cartridge this might be something that i will keep as a carry cartridge depending on how it shoots also so let me see what i can get here 25 yards May have pulled a few but you know the ones that i was definitely taking a little more time on were definitely hit, hitting center so those look like they're doing really really well for me i'm really liking this cartridge it, it just has that feeling i don't know how to explain it but a lot of you guys will know what i'm feeling what, what i'm saying is that you can feel the consistency within it it has the same recoil it has just a little bit of snap to it it's not mushy it just feels right so let me back it up a little bit and see if i can keep hitting with these cartridges all right 75 yards from the target <clears throat> a lot of times i make shots at this distance and it'll actually hit to a certain place and i'll call it and it'll look completely the opposite on that downrange camera one thing you can definitely notice a difference on you'll know what i'm talking about is in the real world i'm looking at my cam at my target down there and i would say the top of the target up to the top of the hill is about 30 feet if you look at it on my downrange camera, it looks like the top of the target's touching the top of the hill. And it does the same thing when, when it's shooting right or to the left. There's like a tree to the left. It's, in reality, it's about 10 feet away, but on the secondary camera, it looks like it's like three feet away. So a lot of times the camera picks up from below and there'll be a shot that will impact, let's say right, it'll actually look like it's hitting to the left on that downrange camera. So I just wanted to mention that because you know, I'm thinking when I watch through editing, I'm like, man, people must think I'm crazy. But <laughs> when I call something where it hits, if I miss, I'm calling it correctly. I just wanted to make that point. So I do know that this Taurus shoots a little bit to the left. So I'm going to try to aim a little bit to the right on the target, not off the target, but just like on the very edge and see if I can make any hits with this. See what I can do. Yeah, see, I aimed... Um, touching the edge so it, it impacted about I don't know maybe 14 inches over to the left all right I don't know where 
all those hit. Run some more. So they were heading a little bit even further to the left than what I thought because at that point I started aiming off the target. And that's far away from my eyes. So we keep going, a few more. <laughs> I'll take that even though I missed one the speed at which I was able to hit those ones I'll take that 380 ACP now this MMP pistol historically I've had a little bit of issue hitting targets at distance with this um, I, don't, I think it's mostly the cartridge because light bullets do tend to get wonky once they get out there at distance but this game center mass maybe a little high center mass see what I get So I did pull one to the left, but the majority of those hits I was aiming at the head on that target. I felt like that was where I really needed to hold. So let me keep holding there. All right, so another ammunition I've tested through this pistol and I have not yet had a single malfunction with so overall I really I'm gonna start talking about this 380 right away because it's on my mind this felt really good and I actually saved enough rounds for a full load of this and a full magazine because I think I'm gonna carry that until I find something better I haven't really carried this pistol yet but you know if I put it into my rotation the gold dots gonna be there as what it's gonna have in it unless I find something better However, being a 50 round box is gold dots, you know, it's a pretty good choice for what it is. So I would say overall, it just felt perfect to me. You know, it was one of those cartridges where you can feel like, okay, if I miss, it's probably me. And a lot of times it's not me. And people kind of scoff at that, like, oh, what excuses. Sometimes it is, that's the truth, that sometimes cartridges are loaded a little bit too hot or a little bit too low, and they just, they don't, they don't keep a consistent accuracy or shootability this had it this had the consistent accuracy and shootability and it felt like just a tad above typical recoil of 380 acp just a little bit of a snap to it so i think that's what's causing it to perform well and still be accurate it just overall is very consistent round now with the 38 special i'm seeing the same thing it's very consistent we have very consistent accuracy it's loaded about the same way as this 380 and overall, it's ballistic performance. Technically, it did better than the 380, uh, but you know, it just didn't get expansion through that uh, MDF and denim, not, not full expansion. Which I'd like to see that, but we don't necessarily always see that with 38 Special, especially if we're not talking Buffalo Boar or Underwood or something like that. So for what it is, it's a decent round, and we got really good penetration. That's something that really trumps everything else. So I'm going to say, again, you know, Gold Dot is a very good cartridge, and it continues to perform very well for me. There's very few Gold Dots that I have not had perform well. I think I had one 357 mag box that was a one, I believe it was a 158 grain, and they were shooting at like 980 feet per second. They were really low loaded, and they didn't perform. And then I've had other cartridges of like a 230 grain Gold Dot. And again, it was shooting something like 750 feet per second through my 5.3 inch barrel, which was really odd. Those two stood out as being odd. But everything else I've tested Gold Dot has been very, very good ammunition. It's good ammunition. So that's what you get today. I have to say thumbs up on both. So as always, comment, share, and like. And thanks for watching. <laughs>